Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. Last time we are looking at the wrath of man. Today we're looking at dealing with filthiness. Dealing with filthiness. Dealing with filthiness. Clean it up. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Everybody needs to clean up from all filthiness. The God that we serve is called the Holy Spirit. The third person of the Godhead. God the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is called Holy Holy Spirit, not spirit, in heaven. They want to call God, the 24 elders and the four beasts and the multitude. You know what they're saying? Holy, holy, holy. I didn't hear them say faithful, faithful, faithful. Yes, he's faithful. I didn't hear them say mighty, mighty, mighty. Yes, he's mighty. I didn't hear them say powerful, powerful, powerful. Yes, he's powerful. I didn't hear them say glorious, glorious, glorious. Yes, he's glorious. I didn't hear them say, hear them say um, merciful, 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 merciful. Now he is merciful, but everything that I just mentioned, apart from holy, is inside the holiness of God. Holiness of God is, is the real key. And the Bible says, we should cleanse ourselves from all the fitness of the flesh and the spirit. He said, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Blessed are the pure in heart, purity of heart, for they shall see God. Lord, I want to see you. So what do we need to do? Dealing with filthiness. Verse 21, James 1, 21. Wherefore, lay apart. I know you. <laughs> he knows me. <laughs> you know, all the weight and sin. He said, you better deal with filthiness. Feel the, feel the, feel the. You become a soul like a pig that is wallowing in a vomit and in filthiness, in dirt. Oh, God Almighty. Lay apart. You know the filthiness I'm talking about. You know it. Huh? He said, the sin of the spirit and of the flesh. Spiritual sins. Animosity that we cannot see. Clamor. Anger. Wrath. Jealousy. Envy. Rage. Hmm? Hatred. Huh? Deal with this stuff. Just hatred. Why did you hate? I don't know. The person that you hate, you don't even know. Why you hate the person? You don't even know the person. Somebody told you what they did, or you just saw something, and you just can you just be free? Can you just live your life, enjoy Jesus, and win souls, and touch life, and live in righteousness, and deal with yourself, and let God transform you and mold you? There's so much to do in life. Oh, and if you have free time, can you go and play golf? <laughs> I think you're too busy. Your soul is mucky. You're too busy. You're a dream. Trying to just fight people, fight your spouse, fight the, your boss, fight your husband, fight your wife, fight the children, fight pastors, fight everybody. Just, just because you need attention like a wild donkey. I don't want to say the other word. <laughs> so stay focused. Try and focus on Jesus. You are feeling this in your life. Deal with the filthiness. I deal with the filthiness. You deal with the whatever make you feel deal life. It might even be you hanging with filthy people. The first thing God told Jacob to do to tell his family is to clean their garments. You need to dip your garment in the blood of Jesus. Dip it, soak it in the blood. Lay apart all filthiness, not some filthiness. Maybe the one you can do today is 10, 10 percent. Maybe the other one you do tomorrow is 30 percent. Just keep laying apart. I'm not, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I lay apart. All filthiness and what brings you to vanity, the vanity of life, superfluity of nothingness. You're gaining nothing from out of this stuff. You gain yeah, you can, can you just relax and enjoy your life. Enjoy Jesus. Superfluity of nothingness. Don't make do with strife. Oh, that's what Jesus said in the book of Proverbs. And receive, forgive, just like Heavenly Father forgive you. Don't make a ministry by destroying someone. You don't need any of that. Let's focus on the major. Souls are dying. Let's gather and pray for the nations. Pray for the needy. Give to people. You know, that there's so much for us to do. Superfluity of nothingness is what many people are, are getting in, involved in. If we say nation is bad, the president is bad. Can we just pray? And can we just raise leaders? Can we, can we begin to just encourage our children on how to change things? Can we pass the button to some other people who we think your children already... You left church. You left church. 
And then the pastor that prayed for you, your children had you when you are cursing him out. They, they don't see you as an original Christian. Your husband and wife, you come to church, you'll be acting as if you're good, but when you get out, you'll be cursing, cursing each other. No, 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 no. Superfluity of naughtiness. Gossip. Receive with meekness. We're going to come to that next time. And what are we going to look at? The engrafted word. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.